Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Spinner. I'm in a slightly bad mood. Just a little dwarf. And basically the perfect mood to play this game right now. Because Laszlo is in a bad mood. He lost his foster father. He's alone in the world with a childhood friend. He doesn't know what to do. First thing we should do Sorted. is go up. Because we may have a clue what to do. So. Oh. Oh. Something new every day. Come on, move it. So what does the letter say? Gorion's scroll. My friend Gorion, please forgive the roughness with which I now write, but time is short and there is much to be done. What we have long feared may soon come to pass, though not in the manner foretold and certainly not in the proper time frame. As we both know, forecasting these events has proved increasingly difficult, leaving little option other than a leap of faith. We have done what we can for those in their care, but the time nears we must step back and let matters take what course they will. We have perhaps been a touch too sheltering to this point. Despite my desire to remain neutral in this matter, I could not, in good conscience, let events proceed without some measure of warning. Thus I will move very soon, and I urge thee to leave Kendall Keep this very night, if possible. The darkness may seem equally threatening, but a moving target is much harder to hit, regardless of how sparse the cover. Fighting chance is all that can be asked for at this point. Should anything go awry, do not hesitate to seek aid from travelers along the way. I do not need to remind thee that it is a dangerous land, even without our current concerns, and a party is stronger than, than an individual in all respects. Should additional assistance be required, I understand that Jahira and Khalid are currently at the friendly arm end. They know little of what has passed, but they are, but they are ever thy friends and will no doubt help however they can. Luck be with us all. I'm getting too old for this. E. Great! Great! So you have to go to the friendly army, eh? This is just grand! People looking over my shoulder. Come here, everyone. I have stuff for you. Short bow. Well, I take that back then, and you have a leather armor. Be quiet out there. For goodness sake. Let's go back to the road. Great. This is 
just great. This is just amazing. Whoever wants me dead has landed for a long time. Hello there. Ah, go away. What a busy day for me today indeed. Stranger noises, throughout the night, no bizarre people rolling around the wood. You do look a touch more hospitable than last two I met though. Well met stranger, I'm called Gullset. No, 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 no. This is... Oh, I'm in trouble, but you think this is too trustworthy for the Laszlo. Definitely no other options. Giving away too much information. So stand away from me. I've, I have very little trust left of last night's event. And then and I will not waste, waste any on you. Well, I imagine you're either the cause or a victim of the carnage. I heard you know last night then. Shit. It's a shame what the Iron Fortress has done to people's manners. You would do well to treat people you meet with a patronized respect, at least until you determine if they are a threat or not. Well, not that far if, you're, if you don't make friends. Well, there are a couple of fell on the road to the east. It would suit your demeanor quite nicely, I'm sure. Ah, Leslie is certainly educated and has manners. Obviously not a threat, so I think he would apologize to the grinding team. I apologize for the outburst, but I'm in dire straits. I will be. I have little to give besides to try some goodwill. Make friends where you can, as traveling alone is almost certain death. You will want to surround yourself with like-minded companions, lest you risk making enemies in your own party. Aside from this little dead bit of wisdom, let's say you're on your own. Lucky with you. Thanks for nothing. Not a very awesome start. I don't care. Somewhere through the diamond. Oh, hello. Hello, Bidget. Do you already be disturbed? Now leave me be. Your company be toil enough as is. I shut up. Hello there, kid. What a strange place to be wandering, ain't it? My companion has something to say to you. What? Montalon, you are so aggravating. She's disturbing to my demeanor. Okay. Hello to you too, sir. Child wandering the wilderness. Surely you must be not too brag to be traveling these roads. And ye look a bit scuffed too, a fine pair of troubles all your own. Indeed, I can offer you unique potions if you wish. I don't most of the will. I prefer to manage on my own, thank you very much. You do not trust us, I don't trust the fat man who was nice. So I certainly don't trust you. I'm not being told by this well. Now, Montheron, had I just been attacked, I might be leery as well. So be it, I shall not heal. Review the wish. Neither shall I hold you to a debt of honor for selecting my good attentions, though your conscience may. 
just like all of people. I'm not good. Perhaps his payment would go with us to Nashkill. It's a troubled area and we mean to investigate some disturbing rumors surrounding the local mines. Some acquaintances are very concerned about Ironshot. Specifically, we are to lay blame in the specifically work to lay blame in the matter. It would be useful though. Though I will not hold you to it. We are up to meet the mayor of town. The man and Baron Gaskill, I believe. Your conscience, your conscience be your guide. Uh. Fine, I would join with you, but I must meet someone first. Perhaps you will go with me. We have precious little time, but it's best to travel a company. I will go with you. You always win our time, though. Hello. I've never liked you right. It is just too bright. Oh, shut up, sir. So. Customize script. I want you. Oh dear, this has changed. Oh dear. Do I even need? The thief will attack an, any enemy when he sees them with a missile wa missile weapon he is most proficient with. So try to keep his distance from enemies, but if but if he's attacked in melee, he will switch to a melee weapon. While not in combat, the thief will attempt to find traps. So these are the AI packages. Very handy, so you don't have to. Uh, fiddle it around manually. So, let's see what you have set. Take enemies, range weapons. You are a wizard. And you will stay the exact same as you are right now. So what do you have? A dagger! Oh Jesus. This will not be fun at all. Well, right, what's this then? too much. a diamond though and I want it. There we go. I need the money. Oh hello. So we have to go here first. Fine. Travel. Oh, there, wanderer. Who the fuck are Stay you? Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. It's been nigh unto 
10 days since I've seen a soul walking this road, and I've been without decent conversation since. Traveling nowadays appears to be the domain of either the desperate or the deranged. If that was part of my intrusion, may I inquire which pertains to the... the shop tongue of Laszlo, so not to apply anything, but how do you measure up to your own standards? Pestering strangers aboard their mental state doesn't seem all that well adjusted to me. Point for taken, thou hast answered my query most accurately. I shall think of thee as determined instead. I shall trouble thee no more. And they are more than capable of the task at hand. North is the friendly arm in, where I am certain thou shalt find trustworthy friends awaiting. I have said too much and taken too much time from thee. Fare thee well. Bye. -bye. Sorted. <laughs> Seriously. I met a strange man on the road to the friendly I mean, He seemed to interest in me, though I don't know why. It was a little odd. Just a tad. Just a tad. Uh, what? Who? Gibberlings! My um, blade will cut you down to size! Anyone else? Oh, good. Always those gibberlings. Seriously. Can't they dribble on their own? That's a thanks. Was a year worse. Every time. Every time. Ah, that even hurts my throat. Hello, pal. Who the fluff are you? Owl. If you don't mind, please try to keep your voices down. Every beast is about with better hearing than we. There are beasties about with better hearing than us, you imbecile. And let them hear I'm more than able to handle whatever comes. Idiot! You would do well to know your own limitations. I don't care whether you are great, the great swordsman or powerful with it. Regardless, you will end up filleted in the new and days, and if you do not take proper care, move along, will you? You may be intent on digging an early grave, but I have no wish to share it with you. And don't stand here, you fool. Seriously. Let me go to the friendly arm. David Lad at the friendly arm in. My next step should be to find and introduce myself to Khalid and Jaira, friends of Goriath. They can give me some advice as to what to do next. Hopefully I do not sort around. Ow. Treat didn't blast my ears off, but boy. Oh, 
suddenly scare. I know that this happens every time we meet first, the first time at this friendly arm in. Jeez. Wasn't looking forward to that. Not at all. Hi, friend. Oh, hello. Friend number, I forgot to count. Hi, friend. I've not seen you here before. What brings you to the friendly army? Uh, nothing much, really. Just road war travelers looking for a place to rest. No, he's in a bad mood. I'm not your friend and my business is my own. How rude! No, really, that is utterly rude of you. I teach you a lesson about manners, but that implies that you are going to live. And what? I weren't going to. Anyway, I'd kill you just for being so uppity. Wait, what? Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Yes, I don't care about YouTube's news, the old stupid guidelines. This is a bad situation for Laszlo. Thank you. And good YouTube, please snap out of it now. Thank you very much. You spoke at me? No. I'll do your toil. This better be good. Well, Laszlo, where are you? Are you serious? Get back there, you stupid dwarf. Jesus! You wouldn't just stand there and last low. He's fleeing! He's literally making way to the exit! Go Thank on, Thank you. I'm on it. He literally made way to the exit. Is It's rich, I tell ya. It's really, really rich. Oy. Bounty notice. Bounty? What bounty? Be it known to all those of evil intent that a bounty has been placed upon the head of Laszlo, the foster child of Gorion. Last seen in the area of Kendall Keep, the person is to be killed in quick order. Those returning with proof of the deed shall receive no less than 200 coins of gold. As always, any that reveal those, these plans to the forces of law shall join the target in their fate. Spit it out. I'm on it. Evil people are looking for me. And don't, don't me dead. Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine son such as yourself. Who are you? I can't stand the way the roads are cut over these days. My uncle's in Bell's Gate and I can't get there to see him. Uh, what does your uncle do? He's a mage and a crutchly old one at that. But they were very fast. Uh, kids, we always called him Grumble Skin. <laughs> Have you ever thought that it cast box can it us so we 
wander around with old brown skin and green hair and funny looking for a few hours. Sorted. Okay. Weird people. They weird people too. How long must we wait here? Things stir to the south as we sit. Hello to you too. Greetings. You look familiar. You know it's not your looks. I'm not sure what I expected, but I believe you're Gorin's child. I am Jahira. This is Khalid. Amazing! I found the two of you. No, I need protection. Yeah, evil man. I want my hide. Preferably tent. Good, good to know you. Oh, Jesus. We are old friends of your adopted father. He's not with you. This is even the worst. He would not permit his only child to wander without his compliment. Accompaniment. A snack with the wolves while right now. If if he has best, if he has Thanks. Brian often said that he worried for your safety, even at the expense of his own. I also wish that Khalid and I would be become your guardians if we could ever meet an untimely end. However, you are much older now, and the choice of your companions should be your own. No, 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 you come with me, you, the two of you. As I said earlier, evil people want my height, tanned. So you go with me, and I stay safe. That's what Orion wanted. We could travel with you until you had settled. Help you find your little lot in life. Would be f a fitting last service to Gorion, though we should first go to Nashville. Off of Nashville it is. I didn't I look into local concerns and there are rumors of strange things happening on at the mines. No doubt you have heard about the iron shortage. Yes, it broke my bloody sword. You do well to help us. It affects everyone, including you. I already felt that. It made the mayor of the town, Baron Gaskill. Oh, great! And talk to the other numbskulls for that. So yeah, I'm already going to Nashville. My grand companions wish to visit there as well. Indeed? Interesting. In that case, I think we should definitely travel as one. Well. We can never be too careful about the dangers of the open road. Ah! And the close ones too. Wherever they may spring from. Yay! You rang! I'm on it! I need a drink. Hey, buddy. It's been dreadful slow business lately. Iron's reliable as a region in it, and it's so painful when it gets scarce. So, what can I do for you? What do you sell? There's stuff to sell. Here. Yeah. Take my long saw. My short bow. I will keep that one. Getting that. Ah. Now, <coughs> excuse me.
Need a few arrows. One slot. Four slot. Two slot. Three slot. Four slot. Now. Links. Do. A sling. A longbow. You know what? Just in case. enough to oh, only three slots eh fine Is to open the tour Fine. all who behave themselves. Going to buy that again. Where is it? There. <sighs> One slot, two slots. Thank you very much. And I have a splint pail. Ah. Welcome to inventory management. Laszlo is not happy about that. Ah oh yes, an identify scroll. Uh, you have a shield, good, and you already have split mail. Ah, and you're not pro 
proficient enough to use this longbow. Great. Well. For a slow business lately. What can you wear? Split mail too. Perfect. Anything else? No. Open to all who behave themselves. Drink. I want to be stormingly drunk. We will meet some affair down in Nashville. I had actually down doing quite well despite all the trouble that Downs had recently. Good to know. If just keep it flowing. I heard there's some sort of some sort of trouble in Nashville. Something sinister has been moving about in the Nashville mines. Nobody seems to know for sure. Too busy coping with the bandit raids and such. Oh, shut up. Just keep it flowing. I hear relations haven't been going too good between the two powers in this region. The Grand Duke supposedly accused Anne of all the raiding that's been happening along the roads. Very good thing to go accusing the most powerful country in the Western world. I don't care anymore. We were flowing. I hear some units of the Flaming Fist have been sent to Beragost. Seems like the Grand Dukes are getting real paranoid about Am. Lots of people think that Am might be behind the iron shortage. Could be a prelude to war. The war. Keep it flooring. I ain't gonna serve you another drop who can barely stand as it is. Best you sleep it off before you go out looking for trouble. Oh, good. Glorious piece of shit. The rumors of something disrupting operations in the national mines contrib contributing to the iron shortage. Bentley told us that there's been some sort of trouble in the south. Perhaps we should go to Nashville. Apparently the owner of the friendly arm in told us that iron spread the slows greatly over the past few weeks. We do. Tension seems to be building between both get and arm. I just assume that this isn't really leather writing anymore because he's doubling it drunk. He wanders off to do some trouble. The most armored person that looks funny at him. Mm. It's about time. Bring me another flag and a veil. I'm not your servant. Get out of Then why do you bother me? Be gone. Nothing will please me more. How rude! 
including our fork at the friendly army and Mrs. Duke for his servant. I don't mind to tell him where to stick his shutting teeth, but decided to catch it. it. Looks like the Lord would be handy on a fight. Perhaps we'll meet again on the ball. Fire sort of fat fire mumbling around. Wrong voice for the win. I need some air. Me too. Spit it out. Talk to me, Warren. Nature servant awaits. Oh. You rang. Sorted. Let's see what it can do. Sorted. Hello. First is what it locked. Locked. Oh, of course it's locked. A man shouldn't speak to his better unless spoken to first. Do you have an excuse for barging in here unless you're here to make the beds? I want you out. Do I look like a maid service to you? No, I don't suppose that you do. You much more look like a group of brigands casing my room for valuables and gold. Perhaps you should consider a career in the domestic arts? A maid is much less likely to end her career in the end of a polar, unlike the job you have presently selected for yourself. And just a thought, I trust you'll be going now. This group's a bit quite rude, I'm not a brigand. Oh. Oh, it's a nice little sailor group. Who are you? You cannot get better than the stability stone walls provide. Have you heard there's a rogue ogre with a belt fetish to the south of a friendly arm inn? I had to bargain my new girdle of piercing of for my life out there. I wasn't even interested in an autographed copy of my book. Hey, if you can get that belt back to me, I'd be mighty grateful. Strength, thanks. To a cleric by the name of Funshay, the rogue ogre with a belt fetish of making a name for himself just south of Friendly Arm. Uh, Zunshay claims to be an author. Maybe you should give me a copy of the book if I can get a girl of pissing back. Yes, pretty good to read. The books I sell here are useless. Lot of dead persons. Who are you? Hey, get out of me way, you crummy log head. Yeah, now, just because I cannot buy the price his suits, don't mean you can just waltz in here whenever you want. Oh, 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 For you that I have, lucky for you, the, lucky for you that you think I have nothing, because even even I cocked you at it, you'd be pitched from the arms first day, faster than anything. Ain't nothing worse I can think of than to be born from the front arm. Part of that would spread like crazy. Oh, shut up, you! So many sleepy deads. Come on. Hello. Oi. Oh, come on. I just want to know what's in there. Hello. Hmm? 
want to see me ending of this intrusion. I pay good money for my privacy. By what right do you disturb it? You pay good money, do you? Uh, what is good and too much to keep about the room? You're most assuredly deaf if you expect me to answer that. If this were the other, this, if this were other than the friendly arm, I would have you in stocks for a fortnight. I have no desire to trouble any of the staff with the matter as trivially as a petty thief. So if you best, you had best turn about and go whence you came. Hmm? Fine, prick. I just want to have work. Right, what's this then? Who are you? No time to chit chat. About time you showed. Here, I need these tunics cleaned and pressed by this eve, and be extra careful with the golden pantaloons. It took 15 women and a small boy from Kalimshan to Kalimshan 12 days and 4 nights to weave them. So careful on the seams. Well, get going. Golden pantaloons. Pantaloons pressed and ready by tonight for breakfast is free, sir. So the little smile and the snap in your step. That's what we like to see. Now get going, damn you. Not a coin. Wait, tip if there's even one tear. Golden pantaloons. Pantaloons of a quality had to fall unseen by the eyes of either man or beast. Dynamic styling and comfort that cradles and cuddles and cuddles. Seduce your thighs, cajole your calves, enjoy golden pantaloons. Today! Trousers you would be proud to take home to mother if mother rode fast and fought hard. Well, I certainly need to identify those. <laughs> the flavor text will get even better. Hello. A pleasure it is to meet you. Hey, I've got a teeny bit of a spider infestation happening in my cellar in back Beragos. I was on my way to the gate to get some poison, but this would be a lot easier on my legs, to be honest. You know the house when you see it. It's right to the west of the Jovial Juggler Inn. Bring back the bodies as to prove you've done the job and I give you hundred gold pieces. If you could please bring my husband's old boots and my old bottle of wine back as well and I throw, you, and I throw in something extra. Okay, ma'am. I'm a postman now. But first... Sorted. I think. I'm not full day. I'm on it. This is Laszlo. No, I'm not drunk. Laszlo's drunk. It's Stormingly. been dreadful slow business lately. For the rest... Let's go royal. A truly luxurious experience at an equally exorbitant price. Pets filled with the softest down, draped with the finest Kalimshan silks and items. Nearly as restful as a week in a lesser room. Though who but royalty could afford the cost? It's not that expensive. I am royalty now for the night, so look for your best room. Whee. Uh, amazing. Done. Now he's complaining about a headache, and I say good night and sleep. 